flipping high. Look, look what we've, look what we've done here. I guess we've got some pretty exciting antics going on. We got ourselves a stream. We got ourselves some new things. And we've got ourselves, well, a slightly dodgily implemented chat. So I dare say, you win. So I'm just making sure to get a Midas touch run in to waste as little energy as possible. And then we will be getting on to the collab action. Although a sensible person would probably do Messier first. But I love me the lucky tickets. And that was pretty fast. So we like that. Hey Reggie, what is this song? This is probably Dancing Naked by the Fat Rat. It is indeed. It's definitely by the Fat Rat. I mean, that was that was a piece of deduction we we knew. There are people beating Dreams Come False in un about 16 seconds. Yeah, uh, I, I was one of them. Um, that strat originally was uh, such a horribly temperamental one. The one I've got now is pretty fast and beautifully consistent, so I know which one I prefer. Can't get as fast as the very fastest, but I did manage to get it down to about 24 seconds. I mean, that, that time was pretty fast. I don't know how fast that was. I'll have to check afterwards. Uh, but yeah, I'm much more happy with that. Yes, DJ, I've successfully, it seems, been able to get myself the chat in the corner. So that's pretty good. Yeah, okay. Now it's kind of more sensibly within the bounds. We'll, we'll do that. So yeah, I'm happy with that. And we got the Streamlabs up the top, so all in all, there's some, there's some antics. I've gone a bit, a bit overboard with the bounding. No, that's just that was itself the other side. Ah, oh, I see. Playing games. Let's move it with the arrow keys. That's what one's at. There we go. Lovely. So, um, co co collab time, I guess, basically. Right? Let's start with this. Because then we'll be able to get another run in. And that'll be pretty exciting. Now, I think I know what you want here. I think you want the fat rat to be paused and for us to uh, get out the audio from the game. I think this is what you want. You, 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 you probably wanted that, didn't you? Let's have a look, DJ. Yeah. Always show messages. Probably sensible. Let's let's see how that goes. It's like nope. Bye, chat. Uh, yeah. Do you think Pioneer should stop Baron stages or make them have different enemies and strategies each level? Um, I'd. I'd conclude it was a kind of failed failed attempt at a feature and just not do any more. And just sort of live with the, the one mistake I made. I mean, heck, you know, I make a lot of mistakes. Uh, you know, so that's just one of them. Uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to disagree with you, DJ. Well, not actually, right? You are correct that it's cropped too low, but what you'd be incorrect in thinking is that that's anything that I've done. Weirdly, you can only resize this bounding box diagonally like such, which means that if I wanted your messages to be bigger, they'd cover over the battle cast screen. And what you may have seen at the start of the stream was the chat being really stretched out like I was trying to make a kind of poster on Word with Word art and it's the first time I ever used a computer or something like that. And, and that's because I tried to increase the size of the bounding box to let myself have more chat but that just stretches out what's already in there like a kind of terrible text box. 
So believe me, I've tried, but that's all the box will do, unfortunately. I should turn the sound effects off for like the, the full glory of the song. It's just such a terrible song, but I mean, I appreciate the effort we all do. mean dog in Japanese or something. I mean that would be convenient if it did. I feel like it's just you know it's the word that immediately rhymes with Nyanko really isn't it? Probably. I mean, obviously I don't know. I think it says Nyanko, it means cat. You're correct on both fronts, uh, but it, it also says Nyanko and Chanko. That is a line of this song. It, it's terrible. No, Neko is cat. Actually, I need to inform you because uh, anyone remember David? I hope you do because we love David. In fact, I was just uh, reaping the fruits of his Netflix subscription that he still lets me use. So, you know. I'm, I'm pretty grateful for that, right? Especially now that I've uh, discovered that, that there's a new series of, of one of them programs I like watching. I didn't know it was coming back, but I come today and there's a whole series of it. I'm like, wow, Pogchamp. I didn't say that because I'm not a gamer. Um, and I also started watching Tiger King now. Regit, Regit Tiger Lion King for its full name. Um, but yeah, thank you, David, first of all. And uh, second of all, David taught me this fact. Let's, let's put the fat rat back on. So the fact, ladies and gentlemen, is that Neko is the proper formal way of saying cats in Japanese. Nyanko is the informal way of saying cats because it stems from Nyan which means meow, hence Nyan Cat, which David told us at length it is Nyan Cat, not Nyan Cat, and he was very annoyed when we said Nyan Cat. You go, like the song, Nyan Nyan Nyan, Nyan 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 And so Nyanko is like meow thing or something, and Neko is like cat. This is a cat, a feline animal, proper words. So they both mean cat, and I genuinely know like the difference between them. Look at look at David educating us, and look at me educating you via David. So there you go, pretty exciting. Uh, right, okay. I guess let's try this. Uh, Try this new stuff then. The Lost World beckons. What's this? Another time stage. Spook. Fun facts are reggae. You better believe it. I love fun facts. Fun facts. The song lyrics are a parody of the first opening scene every time I open the game. Well, I did think it looked something similar to that after I heard my writing it was so bad that distinctly reminded me of I've just read what I've written it's awful 
But I'm sorry, parody or pastiche or whatever, it's just dreadful, really. It's just dreadful. <laughs> so bad. Why would you want to emulate just, uh, uh, you know, you know, just not for a level you have to try several times over the course of the event. No, just make, make good lyrics. Do you listen to other music in the Fat Rat? Loads of other music in the Fat Rat. I have three separate Electro Swing playlists and a Funk and Retro playlist, uh, all of which can be accessed within, love this segue, exclamation mark media. Um, music playlists. And there's a link to a bunch of links, I mean, going down the rabbit hole there. Yeah, I do listen to loads of other music, but the Fat Rat music is copyright friendly and pretty good and people enjoy the coming back to the Fat Rat. We don't have Fat Rat around and people are like, where's the Fat Rat? And so we bring back the Fat Rat. Because it's good. I like the Fat Rat. What's your favourite type of music? Um, well, you might be able to guess from my three separate Electro Swing playlists what my favourite type of music might well be. And, uh, well, yes, it is... It is not a trick. Trick statement. But on Twitch, it doesn't matter what music you play on here. Well, I thought so, DJ. I thought so too. Uh, but that's not actually true. So, first of all, uh, I have changed the little streamlabs at the top, so now the messages are readable. And thank goodness, finally... The leaderboard begins to have something on it again. I was getting quite dejected about that. But, of course, I show you's going to have stopped working. So let's just see to that immediately. Right. Uh, thank goodness the leaderboard begins again. Shaken Worm has cheered us 10 bits, saying, Leaderboard seems to be open. It's far throw three. So I'll take number one. Excellent. So, yeah. Twitch, kind of, oh, sod off, cat fruit menu. What is it now? Seriously, what are we doing here? Unbelievable. Uh, honestly, though, it, it does irritate me, this cat fruit storage. You can play whatever you, music you want on Twitch, I guess because it's a live stream, right? It doesn't know that it's copyrighted while it's live but when you finished on the stream archive twitch actually goes Bleh! and this is something i questioned in a stream before i was like some of my archives say muted audio and i swear i didn't mute myself no i didn't this is a copyright thing if there's copyright music twitch is like pew, 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 bonk knocks you straight out of the copyright park with its uh deadly content id fist and gets you basically so it, it turns out you, you basically you can't do what you want on twitch even though we all thought we could so that's pretty rubbish uh so the fat rat's just a safer bet and also if this stuff ever gets turned into a youtube video through stream highlights which should now be easier because the audio ducks so you know unlike in that panic at the tower video you might be able to hear what i'm saying although judging by the wavelengths maybe not quite i'll need to check that uh, if I ever do that, then it is copyright safe for YouTube as well. So Fat Rat Music had no copyright rules. I'll write that down. It is Creative Commons attribution. So say, you know, this is the Fat Rat. This is a link to the Fat Rat. But then the Fat Rat's like, yes, use that. Hence everyone going, oh, it's Chilola Music. Oh. Joel is able to use Jackpot and, you know, many other people fat rap music because it is Creative Commons Attribution License. <gasps> the leaderboard has got kicking again, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, scrumptious. Mamrati has cheered us a ginormous 500 bits. Fave Twitch stream. Always a pleasure to watch some Battle Cats action at 6 in the morning. Oh. I mean, if you've got up, and assuming you're not up until six in the morning, that's pretty productive. Congratulations. I, I, you know, I, I cannot get up before eight, and I mean, it's usually nine now. It used to be worse at university. Um, but I mean, yeah, hogs in the chat, indeed. Incredible. Like, 
thank you very much. That's pretty amazing. Brilliant. Thank you very much for those bits. Lovely stuff. You do take number one on the leaderboard there. Do you have a streaming schedule? You see, I did. But here's the thing now. Right? Um, the thing of it is, is that when I was doing another stream and I just wasn't particularly happy within it, I realised, what are we doing here? You know, what are we doing here? Racing or ping pong? And apart from that, I thought, what are we doing here? What am I doing here? Wasting people's time streaming at them when they could be off enjoying something a lot more with, you know, a host or program makers who've made it good or a host who's actually enjoying themselves. And so I should only really stream if I really want to and am in that kind of engaged space. Hence, not a stream yesterday. Today, things have fallen into place quite well. You know, mainly finding out that a series I like has got more stuff on Netflix recently. I mean, that's pretty, pretty good. Um, amongst watching some of the old F1 races as well, there was an especially nice one, uh, and I enjoyed that. And you know, together, it's it's put me in a very abnormally good mood and so hence I am streaming and sound at least somewhat engaged Shaken Worms cheered us 100 bits 100 bits there we go we got our we got our lead leaderboard going here no shame in number two I guess no absolutely not especially when it's 110 bits for position number two hooray hoorah yes Lovely. Did we get all the score on that one? So I was a bit slow. Yeah, okay. Not that slow then. Don't act like you know me. No, sound, sounds kind of moody. Something Oscar would say, you know. Don't act like you know me, idiot Shinji! Wrong anime. Is it an anime? I don't know. Um, but wrong wrong media text anyway, anyway. How'd you get so many treasure radars? Lucky ticket stages. Lucky ticket stages. This is part of why they are brilliant and fantastic. They are by far and away the best way to stock up on items. And unlike daily stages, you can get treasure radars on them. Just absolutely go at lucky ticket stages like you've gone at nothing before. They are fantastic. Not to mention also... If you've got your Lil Cats maxed, you get a huge amount of NP from them. And if you haven't got your Lil Cats maxed, well, you get towards maxing your Lil Cats. It's a no-brainer in my view. People ask me why I keep doing the stages, but there are so many positive facets. I would encourage you to spend the entire 13 days doing them as much as possible. I'm just going to check that I've got what the next song is right. Yes, okay. The next song is what we say to Lucky Ticket G stages. Every time you two are getting rough, my mind just sounds like shy and love, but it says no, 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 just no, 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 no. And every time I see him with you, my heart sounds like shy and love. You're going to have to ask your question in, well, ideally English, possibly German, and then, I don't know, Latin maybe, for me to have any vague chance of being able to work out what you're saying. Oh, we've got Treasure Radar from that as well, we are just talking about Treasure Radars. Oh, that's that's a classic, that's a classic collab, uh, trial, trial, not trial run, you know what I mean, time trial, quite a short one, that, quite a short one. Go like that again immediately. Hey! Excellent! Hungry boy! Cheers, it's 25 bits. Sorry for missing the last couple of streams. You're back. Thank you. This is good. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. We got three positions on the leaderboard, ladies and gentlemen. It's good stuff. Every time you two are 
I'm taking Latin in school right now, and the reason I clicked on your channel in the first place is because of your name. Just incredible. I mean, I did base it off the Latin as well, and not because I am Lion, Tiger, Reggae King, Murder, Mayhem, and Madness, as, as some people suggest. So, bowled over at that. Fantastic. I hope you're enjoying your Latins. <laughs> Is the answer no, 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 no. Should I go for Shishalan or not risk getting Nublan or anything else? Um, I don't know, like. The way you should approach Uber rolls is well, first of all, it has to be a guaranteed one you go for, unless it's a fest. In which case, you use your tickets, not your cat food. Uh, and then go for the Uber set that you have the fewest Ubers in. Or the best Uber set that you have no Ubers in. And then you're guaranteed to get something new, right? And then once you have something in every set, just go for the set that you really want something from and hope for the best. Sure, Ubers are all luck, but there's quite a few things you can do t to narrow down towards getting the one you want. These levels are quite easy as well. A few more energy, but... Will end. Actually, it's not that much energy at all. No. Oh well. We're getting it. Eat it. To keep up with my tradition of um, Gravity Falls references, which which won't stop for a while, I shouldn't think, because uh, you know it's like the only thing I've referenced that people have picked up on. Although we've had a we've had a gap of people picking up on that as well. Um, as I briefly mentioned earlier, I watched the first episode of Tiger Lion King today. Um, <laughs> there's, there's one character doing, um, well, an interview that, you know, has, has parts throughout the thing. Uh, sort of like, I don't know, I guess you could call them the kind of the unbiased one, the neutral one, the one in the middle, talking about either side. <laughs> he, he, oh, he said... <laughs> <laughs> he he sounds like he, <laughs> he sounds like Toby determined from Gravity Falls. And it's just so much he's like <laughs> I can't take him seriously because he's just <laughs> talking exactly like him. I like this guy. This guy I, I cannot I cannot listen to him without having a good chuckle. more difficult this time around the stage getting into some serious business though you know I'm sure we can just swap the slot very soon and uh, have it all dealt with pretty quick especially with oh, Shadow Gow is Shadow Gow even in my at this streamlab spot. No. There there is there is no way to make the chat box taller. Unless it's like a thing like holding down option, this sometimes allows you to independently control parts of the box, but that might stretch it. No, no, okay, maybe that's just an iMovie thing. 
Uh, no, no, I mean the bounding box is just, well, it, 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 it will only do those two things. It will get smaller proportionally or bigger proportionally. We can't make it taller. Because, I don't know, I guess OBS doesn't know any better that it, it could be taller. So I feel like the answer has to lie in Streamlabs, but there definitely isn't an option to change it. Uh, unless it's within, like, custom HTML CSS, which, you know, they're just dangerous computer letters, so we stay away from them normally. Uh... So, you know. Right, I vote we try the Awaken stage. Why not? Oh, veteran. Easy mode. Easy mode? In a continuation of our Gravity Falls references, allow me to point you to... Not the kangaroo. Wait, is someone actually asking if this comes anywhere near to the Evangelion collab? Because it just doesn't need to be asked, does it? As a collab could be just fan-to-ginormous. Fanta, brilliant. I was trying to combine fantastic and ginormous, but it sounded like I was sponsored by Fanta. Uh, look, right? You can't get better than the Evangelion collab. It's plain, it's simple. Aoi Kazega Ima. Oh, I love Fanta. I don't. Maybe it's because I've managed to wean myself off sugary drinks, but it's oh, horribly sickly. Except for Fanta Lemon. I mean, that is divine. I absolutely adore Fanta Lemon. Or Lemon Fanta. I, I don't know which way around you're supposed to say it. I remember someone was very annoyed that I was saying it a particular way around. I thought it was very weird. I don't know. Anyway. I don't know why I actually like the lemon one so much, like, because I don't really like lemonade very much. Occasionally use it as a mixer, uh, but I just absolutely love Fanta Lemon. It's, it's fantastic. Have you seen Evangelion or any other animes? Uh, I've started a couple of other animes and not enjoyed them particularly much, and I have seen all of Evangelion, and I'm eagerly awaiting the final film. Where I'll be able to see that, I've got no idea, but you know, at least a collab will come with it. Oh my dear god, what is that on the back of the moped? That's just that's that's just indecent. What on earth? Get get rid of it. Shadow Gout, eliminate this abomination instantly. Uh yeah, no, Evangelion's great, except for the bits that aren't, but you know. It's it's kinda it's proper espresso depresso stuff, isn't it? And you know, that that I think that's what I love most about Evangelion is just how miserably it ends, depending on which ending you choose. Um it, I mean nothing else ends that miserably and it's it's emotionally impactful. Um and Well yeah, it's just especially espresso depresso. I, I quite like that. From uh, from my inner depression appeals to it. Or it appeals to my inner depression. Uh, and, and then also Misato, who is... She, she the gal. Right, get out of here, Yuki. Change the K to an R, I might be interested. But you know what? Misato, she's the one. Still waiting for Misato's true form. Beer Misato. I really hope at least like somebody remembers the what we want to see in the next Evangelion collab video. Because uh, I really hope we get a beer-themed true form to Misato, and if we don't, I'll be very disappointed. It might be an interesting thing to do to uh, sort of bitterly compare what's come about compared to like what we asked for 
well, I asked for, with, with input from some people. I'm not going to say we in case you disagree with what I asked for, but it would be nice. I'd, I'd, I'd really like to, um, to see the stuff that I asked for getting in there. Oh yeah, I should probably clarify, in case anyone hasn't seen Evangelion, which is, you know, a decent chance that you haven't seen it. Still on Netflix, I believe. Uh, don't say anything specific about the ending, please. You know, we don't like spoilers. I especially don't. I'm sure other people don't either. Evangelion is not family friendly. Not family friendly. Actually, I was going to say the rebuilds, but actually, no, that's not quite true. No, because Evangelion 3.33, which is such silly names, um, which I own on DVD, so that, that rhymes, so that's good, uh, is a 15, so I guess not family friendly, right? Oh, Hungry Boys, cheers, 10 more bets, thank you. DDLC collab, when? Oh, oh, now you say that, now you say that, I like it, I like it, because, I, I, again, I'm going to reference one of my own videos here. I mean, just disgusting, right? Reggit, self-promotional surname. I mean, nicknames don't really work if I don't have a surname. Reggit, self-promotional YouTube, there we go. Um... I'm doing gestures with my hand. I don't know why. No one could see. I'm just like, hmm. Uh, but now I've forgotten what I was going to say because of that. Infinite memory loss. Infinite Dory. Infinite. Inf infinite. Hang on. What was I just talking about? Ah, DDSC Cola, thank you. And I don't know if some of you are, are misinterpreting the point, don't spoil it, but, you know, if I can make it possibly any more clear, don't spoil Evangelion to anyone. You know. There isn't a chance for Twitch chat to just redact your spoilers for those people. They're coming out live and they're going to be seeing possible spoilers live. I actually got Evangelion partly spoiled by a live stream chat, so, you know. You might want to pick up your act this time round, alright. So... DDLC curl up, yes, right. Ah, that's it. Uh, Reggit self-promotional YouTube, that was it. So, a video I did, one of the big Battlecats user surveys. And it was like... What, what do you want? collab wise and I was like Stranger Things and I say Stranger Things because in like the sort of chibi art form that you kind of get like Picotaro or well like Asuka and Rei and Masato and you know what I mean slightly caricatured big anime head you know like like almost like bobble headed people on your dashboard of your car and that sort of thing you know just walking around like that would be great for Stranger Things characters, and when you say DDLC, well that too, right? Wouldn't that be fantastic? And and that would be an Uber set you would definitely want. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I I'd I'd be definitely up for some of that. That would be fantastic. I mean, you know, you'd have to you'd have to temper it, wouldn't you? You'd have to kind of have the appearances version of Doki Doki, like, I don't know, up to the point where you spend a day with one of the characters and then just stop. But Infinite Power. Otherwise, brilliant. Right, there's no point me waiting for 30 energy here because we've still got a little bit of stream left. So the things I do for you, let's use the leadership to ha ha ha, nice. 
Everyone, I'm probably going to be like, nice. But here's me talking about like my thoughts on collabs and asking people not to spoil and people ignoring me. And everyone's just like, nice. Actually, no one is. That's all right. I've probably started it now. It's going to be a delay and everyone's going to be like, nice. Or maybe people really don't care what I have to say and just no one's saying anything. Oh, no, there it is. Right. What animes have you started? Um, I have started and finished Evangelion. I have started and given up two, hang on, three other animes. I know, pretty exciting. Let's try and make this exciting, even more exciting of course, than usual. Um, by leaving it up to guesswork, because I have mentioned this before, so attentive viewers will know. What other animes have I started and given up on? I will tell you if you are correct or not correct. <laughs> on that base, he, Moped Man, he just looks like such a, an absolute mad lad, like tearing up the streets, driving on top of buildings. Not Jojo, no. I was actually going to start Jojo, because as I've said to people before, I was actually extremely surprised that it was a real thing. I thought people had just made it up to say, is that a Jojo reference? But it, it wasn't, it, it, but it is actually a real thing, right? And I thought they just made that up to reference. Um, but no, not Jojo. I was thinking of starting, but then Chorzy said, I got right into it. And I thought, you know what? I'll let that be Chorzy's thing. I've got things I'd rather watch anyway. And it sounds like it's really long. And I don't like long programs because they require a lot of dedication when, you know, there's lots of stuff out there. I prefer to watch stuff with short runs so I can get through more of the programs that I'd love watching. Dragon Ball, no. My Hero Academia, no. One Punch Man, yes. Yes, I did start One Punch Man. Uh, and... I don't know. I, I, I get that the main character is supposed to be a bit boring. Or like, in his demeanour. I mean, I like that, that's fine. But I just I found it quite boring overall. I say, yeah, about 170 episodes, because you're saying like five parts, and I was going to say I presumed each part had a number of episodes in it. But obviously, if, if one part was one episode, I'd look like a bit of a silly, calling it really long. But yeah, that's what I mean. Like, the, the longest TV series that I've started watching relatively recently, and not, you know, watched a lot of episodes because I watched it from the start when it aired, uh, is probably Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Uh, which is just easy consumption, really. But other than that, I, I do not like to watch long things. It sort of really takes up your time for watching other stuff. I guess an exception to that would, would be my F1 races at the moment. But equally, that's that's on a free trial and I'm trying to get through uh, an era of F1 that I particularly enjoyed. So, and I am enjoying it, but obviously there's a lot of watching there. Each broadcast being about two hours long and there being about 20 of them in a season. I'm trying to go through four seasons. 2010 to 2013, yes! Grazie ragazzi. Um, but yeah, other than that, no. No, I, I, I much prefer shorter things. And uh, you know, to be honest, I think Brooklyn Nine-Nine would benefit from being having shorter episode runs. They could cut off some of the kind of, you know, not so sure about that one storylines and keep the classics. I mean, obviously you won't know before you broadcast it, whether it's gonna be a classic, but Bryce could say, oh, well, we got that one in, but I think the best ones are, and then you broadcast those best ones. Right, anyway, people have been making other guesses, so let's have a look. Uh, Someone got one correct answer, but I cannot see where it is. 
Attack on Titan? Yes. That's correct. Uh, I have. Started watching. And stopped watching Attack on Titan. Now, it looked pretty interesting, Attack on Titan. You know, and I thought I would find it quite interesting. But what really turned me off it was that it kind of felt like, and I, I think I've said this before when, when when talking about it, was it felt like one of those YouTube videos by a YouTuber who sort of semi-animates their videos. Like, there's there's a picture of them looking happy, and then they say a few words, and there's a picture of them looking angry, and they say a few more words or a sentence, and then there's a picture of them looking surprised. You know, semi-animated like that, and not animating as it goes, like, I don't know, more kind of odd ones out style or something like that. I've gone into this with this slot, even though I really shouldn't have. Anyway, and th that really turned me off it. I mean, I I wouldn't be able to animate. I've tried. Anyone who's seen Soft Bamore Year would, would know that. Um, I really can't animate, but, you know, these people can, and I would much prefer if it, if there are a lot fewer episodes or whatever, I don't know how many there are, or if it took longer to come out, but it actually flowed like a proper animated moving thing. At the moment, I say at the moment, the episode I watched kind of felt like a PowerPoint presentation, almost. It was so slow to move between frames, and there was so little movement in some of it, that I, I just couldn't get along with the visual style. But like, the plot seemed really interesting. Reggit says, opinions that Reggit likes counts as a correct answer. Well, I guess to me, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I wouldn't take that as kind of an objective argument anywhere else, but sure, within my own mind, of course, I'm going to accept answers that I like more readily than answers I don't. I'd love to do, Reggit says, uh, but, you know, that, that really would be ripping off Azuma, even though we love Azuma. Oh, someone called me an idiot, and I wondered why. It's because Night Rock called me an idiot. Oh, that's alright. As long as you're not being rude. Well, you might be. I don't know. You might be. You might be taking the opportunity to call me a right idiot. Anyway, good idea, Nightbot. Let's let's delete the video. Oh, also Wobs. We love Wobs.
Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh, no wonder people weren't responding to what I was saying. I was literally just talking to myself. Because my mic was still off. I muted myself. Blessing in disguise for you, but that explains why no one was responding to me. Just brilliant. Good job. Good job, boy. Good job. Fantastic. Grazie, ragazzi. It, it, I was just having I was a full-on conversation, talking about some things, and look at that. Just like these motorcycle boys are killing me off, I was just, I was muted. I was muted the whole time. Right, okay, well that's just, that's, that's fun time, isn't it? Okay. Right, back to what I was saying then. Uh, let's use cat food continue. Um, right. Stop. So... No one has so far guessed the uh, the third anime that I started and then stopped watching. <gasps> I wondered. I mean, I, I, the problem is, I didn't wonder enough to think something's wrong because I've had streams where people have just plainly ignored me. And as sad as that is, that happens when I'm not muted. And so I was just like, oh, well, this is just a, a bad case of that, right? But no, no, I just... <laughs> <laughs> muted myself the whole time classic content uh, it is not Ka Kaiji uh, Sword Art Online or Konosuba or Sword Retweet either oh no you corrected yourself just as I made that joke uh, takes the fun out of it <laughs> Sword Retweet Look at me, professional streamer. Finally caught a regular stream. He waited three hours for energy. Talked about something no one was interested in. And then muted himself without realising. Well, he realised he muted himself. He just forgot to turn his mic back on. Can you get a spoon emote? There is a you spoon emote. Like, you spoon... Boom. Why, did, why did I introduce that? I mean, I just like, I know, try and leech off Mumbo's fame, call myself a spoon. And I've like never used that word before. I mean, it is a British thing, but, you know, not, not, a, not a thing that I say. I said things like boom in the room and flip nuts. And now when I think flip nuts, I think ginger nuts, and I think cup of tea, and I think biscuits. Good stuff. I'm still struggling with this. Though. Let's see if we can get Shadow Girl. He'll be right there, close to the sun. Actually, won't be. He's gonna fail miserably. Oh, we go. Soul Eater Naruto. No. I mean, if Bleach is an anime and not a joke. Not that either. Dragon stacking works well. Noted. We got no dragons in the strat. Come on, guys. You've only got about a minute left before I have to go. You can do it. Yes, the anime. Flipping here already. Madman. One hit. Two hit. Oh, it doesn't matter. They're just going to swamp me now. Two motorcycle jump man. The anime. Uh, Kaguya Summer. Uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, no. Bleach is an anime. Oh, wow. Intriguing. I mean, I love the smell of Bleach, all told. I have no problem. Oh, well, I had no problem cleaning my toilet at university because. I just, the smell of bleach is wonderful. I'd, I'd, yeah, it would stay very clean because the smell of bleach is just such a lovely clean smell. But don't drink it, kids. Don't do that. And I didn't do that myself. I use slime to heavily damage anything. Oh, flip! That reminds me I'm in the wrong slot because I had slime in, in one of these. Oh, uh, 
we'll probably get it done with old old Shadow Gal. Oh, sorry for Shadow Gal. People keep calling it Gal. Well, Matt mostly, but it's Shadow Gal. Gal's different. Gal isn't black and blue and exciting. Gal's a grey boy. It's boring. Ooh. I don't think even I knew what the anime was. I do. And no one said it yet. Overlord, no. Okay, let's speed this up then. Uh, so I don't have to tell you. I probably will end up having to. Uh, there was a film theory on it. I mean, it's probably been film theories on, on most animes, but it's a film theory I know exists anyway. It was a calculation film theory, if that helps. Ah, you got it! Full Metal Alchemist, you got all of them then. The animes of, well, given up. <laughs> right, okay, it's time for me to stop, but I'll finish off the level, which seems to be pretty much finished now, brilliant. Uh, with a little bit of uh, electrified. But in key, I guess. Thank you for coming along, everybody. Thank you for reigniting the leaderboard, it's been fantastic. See you all later, and remember, in the words of the character whose name I keep forgetting from Gravity Falls, Giddy!